guys, George from Cyprus Insight. Today we're in the town of Aradipu. And we're going to have a look around the town centre first. We've just parked right in the middle where there's a little car park. And uh, I'd spotted these lovely old houses that have been restored. So we'll have a look here first. And Louise and Andrew have recommended this place. And it does look lovely. Look at these old houses. There is a museum here, look. And that's closed at the moment. That's the Museum of Christian Art really interesting shame it's closed oh what's this go on the opposite oh look at this old building it's got a date of 1901 it looks like it's going to be restored oh that's the folklore museum guys and they're restoring the place look let's have a peep inside look at this oh wow that looks amazing in there Oh, the doggy doesn't want me to go inside, so we'll carry on through. This is part of the same building. Beautiful archways and door entrances. And then we've got this quaint little villa right on the corner. Look at this. Right, let's make our way towards the town centre. Of course, it's uh, lemon season at the moment. And that lemon tree looks very healthy, doesn't it? Oranges. Oh, they look delish, actually. Look at number five waiting for restoration. Um, which way should we go? There's some little tiny roads. Look, look at that one on my right. Tiny roads swiggling around. All hickety pickety. There's yet another old house that had been restored some time ago. Straight ahead. So as a garden centre, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Um, I think we're going to do uh, a left and have a look at the garden place first and then we can go round, shall we? Because I've just spotted the church, it's at my right, through that narrow road. And they're all quite narrow. So this town became a municipality in 1986. I suppose it grew in the outskirts, got much bigger. And look at this amazing garden centre or stone factory. You can buy everything here, look. Fountains for your garden and some nice pots. Looks like it's all made from concrete. And look, there's loads down there. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh, I like that one. That's a nice one, isn't it? Some lovely fountains here. Right, uh, which way should we go? Should we go up there and then we'll do a right down the narrow road and that probably lead us back towards that church on my right. Oh look, great big pomelos. They're nearly ready to pick. They're like a giant grapefruit. Let's go right down this narrow road. So the 
Aradipu, the name comes from a mythical king, King Aradipu. It's not named after the farm that's just outside the town. If anyone's wondering. Yeah, look, I've just come across a little chapel. Look at this. Isn't it quaint? Look at that beautiful old house across the road. That one's partly restored. Waiting for the top to be finished. Right, let's have a look at the uh, little chapel, a little tiny bell. Isn't it lovely? Look, they've got benches outside. Conveniently located, if it gets a bit crowded in the tiny chapel. I suppose if they've got a wedding or something, get busy. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love the houses round here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like most of the old ones are made from the mud bricks. That one is, and this one over here. I think that's quite new. I think this is an old chapel, guys, and uh, it's been partly restored. You can see this old wall on my right. Oh, look, some more stonework down here. Right, now I think we're in the town square because we've got uh, quite a few cafes, one across the road and one over here. There's a the town square, look. I should get out of the middle of the road, I think. So look, the road goes down there now and it goes down this wiggly road here. I think we should either go left, that take us to the main church, or right. I think right and we can see some more of the uh, town. got there oh a sandwich bar oh. oh here we are there's a massive church on my left and some more beautiful old houses scattered around this quaint little town I mean look at this one isn't it amazing it's got two stories quite a uh, big for its time and look the actual front door opens out to the uh, road see here we are massive church of St Lucas the patron saint of the town and we're going to have a look around see what's going on so this church was built in 1939 but there was a church here since the 1700s very art deco type isn't it of course it would be that sort of age oh look they're doing up the town square putting some beautiful block paving in oh that's nice look at that lovely old house over there and it looks like we've got the town hall coming up 1960 there was a fire here the iconostics all burnt down apart from the icon of st lucas so that's amazing isn't it guys amazing and look at the beautiful amazing 
archway and a clock at the top. Can you see the clock? Looks like the clock from Back to the Future. I think this is the town hall. Yeah. I just want to point out this little house opposite. Look at that. Number one. I think this little house is connected to the church. There's the town hall. Or perhaps this was part of the town hall. Let's have a look round. Now I think this was connected to the church or could have been the original school. The whole place is just littered with beautiful old houses. Not sure what that is over there. It's a kebab shop now. Not sure what it was. And look, look at that 1930s built, totally restored. Well, which way should we go now? Well, let me show you the church of St. Lucas and that amazing clock. I think uh, we'll go we're going down that only way do you think? We'll go down here guys. Ah yes now here's a little car parking space for the town square. It's one way as I said just a little bit hickledy pickledy around here so if you're visiting this little town you're possibly going to get lost. This road down here leads to this car park and it's a dead end. And there's lots of lovely restaurants and cafes. You can enjoy some lunch or a coffee or tea. And of course, as you go to the outskirts of the town, then you'll see all the new houses as the town expanded. Look, can you see here we've got another house being restored right on the corner and it looks like they're at work at the moment. There it is. Now guys, if you're ha lucky enough to pick up one of these old houses to restore, you can see that they've put stone on the ground floor. Okay, then uh, of course the mud bricks on top. Makes the house more stable. And okay, let's carry on through. You see, stone on the ground floor and the mud bricks on the top. Uh, which way should we go do you think? I think we're going to go right guys and try and make it a circular walk although I've got no idea where the car is now still never mind Yet another beautiful old house, massive balcony.
There's lots and lots of quaint little shops around here, isn't there? There's a chemist. And every now and again you come across a car park. There's a jewellery shop. what they do over there oh, oh it's a massive barber shop what's this gift shop oh look an interesting little shop isn't it look all sorts of gifts antiques and modern antiques right we're totally lost right let's cross the road a lot as a music school, very modern. Yet another town square. As you go around, there's little squares everywhere. Look at that. Number three. That was restored in 2011. And there's some more beautiful old houses down this narrow road. Right, we're going to go straight. Looks like the balcony's fallen off this one. And there's yet another old church. Let's go down there and have a look, shall we? Quite a big old house, the one I've just been past, and I'm going round the side now, having a look in the garden. Oh, it's got a lovely arch at the back, and an extension. Now that would probably have been the kitchen and the bathroom outside. It's got an old tin roof, unfortunately, but it's got still got the old slate roof on the top. I think this part of the garden as well, that would be a lovely project. That one's not for sale, but guys, I did see on Facebook a house here for sale. Tiny house, I think it was just 20 or 30,000 euros, similar to this one here, right in the town square. So if anyone wants to restore a house, there you go, look it up, Marketplace Facebook Cyprus, I did see it the other day. Here we are, another quaint little church, Aeos Spiridon. Nice bell tower. I'm not sure about the uh, bricks on the outside, I think it's uh, not particularly old. I'll have a look around. Yeah, it's got uh, UPVC windows. It's got a car park. I think compared to quite a lot of the houses around here, this church is not very old at all. It's a bell tower. And a dog. And there's another one of the car parks scattered around right next to the church and yet another old building down there on the corner the whole place is littered with beautiful old buildings all right let's carry on down now
there there's the old town there look at this fantastic old house they've taken the slate roof off unfortunately and put a tin roof but the one behind it is amazing it's been used it's got two stories in extension the courtyard the usual separate type building Oh look, there's a pottery here. Look at this. Selling all sorts of bits and pieces. Look at these. Wow. Serious collection there. Now we're going back into the old part. You can see all the new houses just beyond this bit of ground here and that container. Here we are, back in the old part now. See these old houses. This area here, possibly the old refugee area. Oh wow, look at that, that's massive. Massive pointer setter. Probably got it 10 years ago as a Christmas present. And look at the size of it now. So you can tell by the houses that this is the refugee area, look. That's definitely the style. Each town and village has got its own little refugee area. Yet another car park straight ahead. That's the postman. I'm going to go right, I think. Okay. There we are, yet another beautiful old mud brick house now quite a lot of these houses are split up into two or three see that one's been restored and this part is owned by somebody else oh down this little alleyway there's another one waiting for restoration I think this one usual courtyard look it's got a lovely big balcony though stairs going up to the second floor another lovely orange tree there's a lot of oranges on that looking very delish Just picked one up off the floor, that looks nice. We'll have that in a minute. Right, which way we got to go? Totally lost. Right, let's go right here. Yeah, another beautiful little house being totally restored. They put UPVC windows on this one, which doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> I 
Now I do know that this town's got a little forest somewhere and we'll try and find that and video that uh, at another time. So I hope you enjoyed that beautiful little town of Aradipu. I certainly did. I love the old houses and the hickledy pickledy roads. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below.